back everybody. It's Gina. I'm here today to share um, one of my latest journals I've completed. I've started kind of a, another, uh, what I'm calling a collection of journals because they're all going to be tomes um, and all of these are five signatures each. Now um, I'm going to go through this one. This one I have named Amelia, and isn't it stunning? This is some new fabric I've got. I absolutely love it. It's got such a, a vintage feel to it. Um, so I will go through that, but before I get going, let me just very quickly show you. I'm doing a pre-sale on these five uh, tomes. This one is ready to ship today, but the other four will be ready in the next um, two weeks. So let me just very quickly, that's Amelia that we're going to look through. I've got Butterfly, and this is Tim Holtz fabric. All of these are going to have the, um, the book plate, and they're either going to have journal or diary. Um, so they will all be made this in a similar way. So this is Butterfly. This is Rose absolutely love this. This is more Tim Holtz fabric. Isn't it amazing? I love that. This is the first time I've had the chance to work with that one. So that is Rose. I'm doing another Blossom. I did this uh, about three, maybe four months back. Um, so Blossom will be ready. And then the last one within this collection I have named Daisy. And you can see it's peaches, um, some green, it's got your, you know, the French, <coughs> excuse me, labels, and again, they will all have the book plates, so there is going to be, within my shop, a pre-sale for each of the four that are not complete yet, and as I said, these will be completed within two weeks, so they'll be ready to ship, um, you know, anywhere from 10 to 14 days, so let's go inside, I want you to, to see those journals are going to be created in the same uh, manner as this. The papers are going to vary slightly, but I always try to coordinate things. Um, but they are just a real eclectic mix. Now the um, closure on this one, I've just taken some of the um, fabric and I've hand torn that so it's got a really nice look to it. As I said, this is a Tim Holtz book plate. Um, Five signatures. There's in excess of 200 pages within this journal, and um, like I said, the other journals will be similar to this, but they will vary slightly because I I won't keep everything as cookie cutter. You guys know I don't operate that way, but just to give you a feel for how they're going to be um, embellished inside, because there's going to be a lot of journaling space, but still I've included quite a few. Um, pockets and you know just various things. This one is um, just one of the old file folder dividers. Um, now some of the ephemera will vary slightly but um, just just so you can get a real good idea of what they're all going to include. Just a big mix of um, various book pages from my stash. Um, I've got some pockets that I've made from book pages. I'm going to have decoupaged uh, tags, stamping throughout. Um, just a real mix of, of things. And as I said, some of the digital papers will um, vary slightly. Vintage book pages, handmade tags, book page pockets, ruffles. I've got fabric snippets, uh, fabric ruffles, <laughs> just um, a big, big mix. Now this this particular one, um, well, to be honest, I've got papers from so many designers, I just won't even try to, to name them, guys, because I've got a huge collection um, from different people. So this has got uh, three pockets. This particular book page pocket's got three. And then I've got, you know, some scrap notebooks. It 
that this is the first time I've had a chance to um, to work with my fabrics that my son brought over. So it's been a lot of fun making these, and I am so in love with this uh, this particular print. Uh, here's another um, book page pocket journal card tucked inside. So yeah, I'm sorry guys, I haven't been on uh, much. If um, a few of you will know what's been going on, um, my father-in-law passed away um, Thursday a week ago, and uh, it was completely une unexpected. Um, I mean, he was getting up in age, obviously, but... Um, it came as quite a shock, so I just, you know, my husband and I have just been trying to get everything arranged, and uh, Paul's mom's taking it incredibly hard, as you can imagine, because they had been married for um, 64 years, so um, she's devastated. So, yeah, it's, I just haven't had much time so that's that's the reason for the absence um, so as you can see these are um, just a real mix from my stash um, I like these type of journals uh, it just appeals to me I really like things I don't like things to match too much but I do like them to have you know some kind of theme going and uh, or colors, you know, that coordinate, and you know, I'm drawn to the florals. So, <clears throat> as usual, I've included a lot of, you know, flowers, um, those kinds of things in this journal. Um, this is just a an old ledger. Um, pocket that I have just clipped on here so that that can just be moved around. It's it's quite a big one, but yeah, I just clipped that in. There's nothing in that one, so that can be moved or just taken out completely. And like I said, a lot of journaling space because there's over uh, 200 pages. And then there's another journal card. Um, did some stamping over this. This has been gessoed. I love these papers. These are Tsunami Roads, this uh, particular pages. Here I've just did some, um, this is an old uh, Mother of Pearl button, and then just bits and pieces I've collaged together. And then this is a glassine. So you've got pocket here, and then this pocket here. <coughs> I tried not to over embellish, um, because I know a lot of people don't like um, the journals to be too filled out, and yet this still ended up being very big just because it's five signatures and the amount of pages I put in. But I really wanted to include a lot of my um, book pages. Here's another pocket here. And this is just another floating envelope um, out of some like crafty paper. Um, yeah, because I've got some really beautiful old vintage um, book pages, so I wanted to make sure that it was a really nice um, mix of those. Oh gosh, I've had some glue seep out again. And then this is a um, fabric tip-in, and I love how that's come out. That's a bit of the, you know, the fabric from the front. Isn't it beautiful? This is so retro and when I ordered it you know I just was drawn to the colors because it went well with nature journals um, but when I got it in and felt it I was like oh my god this is so retro looking um, this is just an old uh, sewing book page I've got I love those papers like I said fabric uh, ruffles in here um, this little one flips out so you could do some, you know, you could have a photo in there or do some journaling. Another little 
um, tag I made. Yeah, I know I would never remember every uh, designer that I've got within this on the digitals because they've come from so many different artists. Um, this is another old book page I've got. Well, it's not an old one, but it's got the old advertisements and things. And then here I've got this big uh, journaling tag I made. And then get that back in there. And then there's another little pocket here, and then inside here I've got this little collage journaling tag. And then this is a glassine envelope. <coughs> Excuse me, I did some stamping on the muslin there. Some more really old um, typewriter um, book page there. And then this is just a little pressed flower I did. Get some stitching around that. And then over here, this is one of the junk mailers. And so you've got a pocket back here that you can add something. And then within here, I just did a another journal card with some scrap papers that I had. Still trying to get rid of all my stash. That's why they, this, that's actually how this collection came about and the fact that I wanted to start using some of my newer fabrics. Um, but yes, another big, big push to try to do a, um, a clear out before the end of the year. And then who knows? Who knows what next year is going to bring? I um, hope to spend, this is a uh, wallpaper um, pocket that I've made, so you've got a, a space here and back here, so this is really old uh, wallpaper, and those are very durable. Made a belly band here, and then this is just some of that old packing paper that you get from uh, UPS, so you've got a, a um, pocket here, a pocket on here, and then here, and I've just put a few um, journal tags in there, so that could float within the journal as well. But yeah, I'm planning next year to do the tomes, but I think I'm going to probably um, cut them down. I think I'm going to start working in maybe a 5x7 or a 4x6. I'm just going to have to experiment with it a bit. Um, so these are the remaining full size, and these measure, I think they're about 8.5 by... Let me see, actually, it's been a while since I've measured these. Oh, let me just mark that there. Um, yeah, they come out really about six by eight and a half. Um, so I'm probably going to try, probably the next batch I will be doing. I'm thinking I'm going to drop it down to about a 5 by 7 or maybe even a 4 by 6 because I like the small and I've done a lot of these large ones. So this is probably going to be, um, when this batch is complete, this will probably be the, the end of the really big um, journals for quite some time. Um, but who knows, you know, those things, that those plans could change, but um, that is kind of my thinking going forward with it, and I don't know how many more journals I'll I'll get completed before the end of the year. I'm definitely not going to be doing any um, Christmas journals this year, I don't think. Um, maybe next year I'll pick it back up. I don't know. Um, more book pages, more of the little snippet tabs. So yeah, it's just a real mix, um, as you can see. And then here is another big journaling card. It's tucked in here, so that just peeks through. But yeah, I don't know, guys. Um, to be perfectly honest, there's um, I think there's going to be a, quite a lot of change coming up. Um, 
I love how that looks through that window. Um, over the next six months, uh, I, I just really don't know, <laughs> honestly. Um, and then this is a little fabric stamp I made there. So that tucks in the back there. Oh, I love how this has come out. I'm really, really happy with these. Um, the colors and uh, the mix of uh, pages and ephemera. Super, super happy with these. So let me get that tied and then you can have another little look at that. So it's pretty big, as I said. I, I tried not to fill it out too much um, because you can see once it's been journaled in and things added to it, this is this is going to be a big old journal. <laughs> but I love it. I just think the, that fabric is just gorgeous. Okay, guys, so that's Amelia. And as I said, um, I'll have the pre-sale on for Butterfly. This one's Rose. Blossom. And Daisy. So, um, and then once these are complete, any of them that haven't already sold, I will obviously do a video and um, you can see the flip through then. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for dropping by today. Um, like I said, I'm really sorry that uh, I've not been on here much, but I know that you will all understand the reason why. So thank you um, for your patience, and hopefully I can get some uh, tutorials uh, lined up for, you know, the next... I don't know. I don't know when it's going to be, guys, because um, I've got I've got a, quite a lot on right now. But I I always am in you know in the back of my mind thinking of things I can share with you. But um, I hope you guys are all well, and um, I will be back soon. Take care. Bye.